I was a drama teacher looking for plays for the kids to do. I only found in the Indian context these very moralistic stories which told children how to be good and which child wants to be good. So I started out writing plays for them which we both enjoyed. The skill that I needed I had very well which was that I was a great liar. I told lots of lies. I always felt my life was so dull and boring that I had to make up all kinds of exciting things about it. So I had a pet monkey, I traveled to Japan, I did all kinds of exciting things which in fact I never did. Avant-garde to me is something that is way ahead of its times. At that moment, it's completely unique, but it remains unique and ahead of its times and contemporary and relevant long years after, so it stands the test of time. Also, that it's something that's totally universal. Not only that, it's very strongly rooted, yes, in, in the milieu where it was born, but that it has a universal appeal to the extent that other cultures also adopt it as their own. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a story. And this is the story about a jungle. And in the jungle, there was a lion. <laughs> And the rabbit peeped in. Oh, Maharaj, there's a very big, there's a very big lion inside. Was there really a lion? No. no. It was a reflection. That's right. I think of uh, avant garde, and Panchatantra leaps to mind. This is a set of stories which is believed to be two and a half millennia old. When they were first recorded to have been found, it was in 200 BC in Kashmir, but by that time a lot of the stories were already ancient. Things that it talked about two and a half millennia ago were relevant then, relevant now, and will always be relevant. Children have a deep natural empathy towards animals. They respond straight from the heart. The Panchatantra actually understood this empathy and used it so effectively by putting animals on an equal footing to human counterparts. Uh, sometimes, in fact, the animals have more wisdom and humans learn from them. Panchatantra personifies universality because it belongs to every country, every language. It has mothered stories. You go into any bookshop, you may not find Panchatantra, but you will find the children of Panchatantra uh, anywhere in the world. Now, what could be more avant-garde than that? <laughs>